Shade over there. Oh, 
bud, the thieves up there. Out of play, out of play, out of play! I hit my own damn truck. Why don't you swing at that first pitch? Pull my dick, Andy. 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 I thought that one one day I was standing in line at Ulta and I was like, this is 
Swing, tank, tank. I love it. 
Give me your mouth, baby. I can't hear this. Man. I can't get them off. <laughs> I can get them off. I just can't ever get them off. <laughs> <laughs>
my sister when my sister was alive, she was special me. So like I didn't get a whole lot of respect from my mom and dad. And my sister a lot of care. And when you have to wait, like I got on the attack. So hey, fly um, over here. And my mom was she just poured all her being into the big my mom. Yeah, they, uh, huh? Hey. You This is 13. This is a 13. No, it's not. It's a 14. Yeah, this is a 14. Thank <laughs> you. 
said, wait a minute, we wanted to see if we can get him approved for this other test, why he's got these in. It's a five-month waiting list for this test. If we can get it approved, we're going to go ahead and do it. Well, they couldn't get a hold of the insurance company to try to get it approved. The hospital said, no, he needs this test. Just go ahead and skip everybody and just do it. So the lady came up to do the test. And she was getting his arm set because what they have to do is when he has the, se the seizure, they got to put radiation in and it shoots up to his brain and lights it up and then they take him down for an MRI and it shows up everywhere that he had the seizure in his brain. <coughs> and, uh -huh. and so she's like, I'll be here about five, six days. I'll get to know you guys pretty well because she's got to stay right there beside him with the syringe in her hand hooked up to his arm. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting to get to know us at all. You're going to be here maybe five minutes of that. She goes, son, I've been doing this for 30 years. I think I know what I'm talking about. I said, I know my son. I think I know what I'm talking about. 
no more than I said that Joey went into a seizure. She pushed it. He was gone down, down to get the MRI. They came back up. They, they took him down for surgery to remove all of them. And then we had to watch him because he had a small um, bleed in his brain. <coughs> which scared the shit out of me. Oh, absolutely. <coughs> and then May 2nd, scary, though, like yeah. May 2nd, 2018, he went down. We went over. They proved him for the brain surgery, the epileptic reversal. Because Joey played ball, and he would have seizures. He played outfield, and he would have seizures. As soon as he got hot, he was having seizures. But he would play ball. And we watch him. I would, I, I wouldn't watch nothing else. My eye was on him. So when he'd go into a seizure, I would know. And I would say, time, time, time. We go out and grab him, get him settled down, get a cool rag. We've got those ones that you can wet and they put on the head. Put that on his head. Put a hat on. Go play ball. And on May 2nd, 2018, he had the brain surgery. And he's been seizure free. I ain't hit that nothing. <laughs> I don't need to see that old wrinkly thing of his. <laughs> no, he didn't need to. That's what that to. that scar is on his head. That was from the brain surgery. He had seizures from the time he was two. He has a machine in his chest. It's called the VNS. He um. We used to have to metal thing every time he had a seizure. We wanted him to bring him out within three minutes instead of him having a 30 minute seizure. He still has it there. That's what this is. You see these wires? You can see them and feel them. They won't take it out unless it's causing health problems. Right now it's not. So he keeps that, they'll leave it in and just shut the machine off. And that was the other thing was after the surgery, they turned it back on back to the regular settings it was on. Uh, Within five minutes of them turning it back on, said, what, the lady left the room. What, they called the emergency to get him back because he was sitting there coughing because it was going off nonstop. And he's sitting there coughing. They had to turn around and turn it halfway down. Over half what it was set at. Then we got, no, that was Friday. And they, um, they said we could go home on Friday. He had surgery on Wednesday. We got to go home on Friday. <laughs> we didn't have to go to a rehabilitation, no nothing came out with no problems, no speech, no nothing. We went home, Sunday morning, he got up and he's sitting there and all of a sudden he, his head go like this. And I'm like, what the hell? And he's like, mom, every time the machine's going off, it was making his head draw. So I had to call his neurologist over here. I said, we're having a problem, I gotta bring him in. They said, okay, bring him in. I came in, his head, every couple of minutes, his head would go, because the machine was going off, they had to turn it off. And they said that's a good sign that he doesn't need it on. Since then I really haven't had to have it on, other than at a really low, low, low current. That's good though. Basically shut off. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They had to do it. They, had, they couldn't have it on. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And he was set at every two and a half minutes, it would go off. And it was set at a high rate. He was the first kid in Sevier County to have the VNS. The school, I dropped him off after he had the VNS to go to school. And they told me, come pick him up. And it's like, why? Because uh, we're not dealing with this VNS. And I'm like, why is that? Uh, if I don't bring him to school, you're going to get me for truancy. But we're not doing the VNS. I said, but you would deal with his seizures and let him have them for 30 minutes in the school, on the floor, and let him sit there and have a seizure. But you can't take a little watch and wand him and let him come out within three minutes and go back to class. That don't make no sense. You know what they did? They graduated him. Early. He's graduating. He can go home. So they graduated him. Even though, even though I was doing perfect in classes, making making perfect I grades I and stuff, keep they just home. threw me through it. And the nurses and the doctors went and sent a nurse to show them how to use it. They said it's not rocket science. Take it, no wand them. That's it. Leave it alone. Not that hard. He like hey, he likes it in the butt. I know it. He's, I've right. looked over multiple times. All I care about, all I like is the man's finger. See, I still like it in the butt. It's still in the butt. Exactly. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who the hell are you talking to? I'm talking to you. About what? <laughs> and that test there, 
Don't go there. Because he had so many seizures. He wasn't in his right mind. He was trying to go. Please just let me go. I had my yeah. one nervous, so Joey, major can't. nervous breakdown. Yeah. He said, we can't go home, Joey. we got to get this done. And he's like, please, don't I just want to Please just let me go. I don't care no more. You have to deal with it. Guys, I lost my Every three months. To, 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 every time we went over there, we were supposed to be there like two days. We were there for three, four days. I have, what, I have like six broken records there. I broke six records of theirs there. And the doctors, the surgeons, said we can't make it this case. He's so one of the one of the surgeons, one of the surgeons actually paid for a surgery to go ahead of the schedule. That's that actually testing jumped, yeah, that we testing. had to do. He paid for it out of his own pocket to get it done yeah, right then and there. To skip it was a five month other waiting list for it. Five months waiting list. And he paid he paid it himself to get my done. Jump him through. Jump him through. Okay. You see a black man? Oh yeah. But he went from seven, seven to eight seizures a day. Get his learner's permit. He's got a job. I had my driver's license. Got it taken away by having an accident while driving with no insurance. Pay that yeah. I ain't the cause of the accident, the motherfucker. You've got to take responsibility. Hit me in the ass and it's fun. Me the fuck out. He was passing him in a dotted line, but when he went to get back over, it was solid. And the guy was being a jerk, he sped up. So he would have to pass him and no be illegal. And he I had flipped on, him and I had oncoming traffic out. at me at the But same it didn't time, matter so. because he was illegally passing. Because he went back as a I, uh, I couldn't do so it doesn't about matter. It, so yeah. they got me with that. So I'm I'm just about to the point where I've got everything. Joey's car was right. The other shoes. guy had no damage whatsoever, and he said he had five hundred dollars. All he had was a fucking little scratch, a paint scratch, That's literally at the headlight. That was it. But he was driving a freaking B uh, BMW, and he worked for FedEx. We go so down the road and this lady, she's in a tiny little turning lane and then all of a sudden she decided to dart out in front of us and completely slam on her brakes. Oh, hell no. And we hit her. We told her our car. Yep, and but her it's car, your fault because you she, keep your car in control. She bungees her, her bumper back up and left. No, they deemed it no fault. They deemed nobody at fault. But it was it was 110% her fault. If you had a cash cam, it would have been 100% her fault. Oh, yeah. If we, I that, plan to get me a dash cam now and I get my own car. To. Get my next car, I'll have my dash cam that way. See, Gary just got one in January. Oh, Anything goes on on the street. You know where you get off, like it. a Maryville Sutherland exit? He was getting ready to get off, and it was bumper to bumper early in the morning. You know, everybody to work. And a truck behind him wasn't paying attention, and everybody was putting their brakes on, and Carrie was stopping. And Carrie looked behind, and he seen the guy coming, and Carrie couldn't get over off into the brake line to get out of his way. And he slammed on the brakes and hit Carrie. Total Carrie struck out and sent him over 100 feet. He pushed Carrie. Carrie's that out of stop. Was, that truck was buck, buckled like that. It totaled it. But we had all kinds of witnesses all around. And then the semi truck was coming in the other lane and he pushed Carrie into. And they said they didn't know how the semi truck stopped and didn't hit Carrie. Yeah, they deemed nobody at fault. Really, there was like four witnesses that said it was her fault. But the way the trooper wrote it up, he didn't even really care. Yeah. He just seemed like he didn't want to be there, so yeah. he just kind of he just wrote it up and let. Yeah. So, state troopers, honestly, they usually like going and that lady and they double charge it. Loss of happiness. I'm like, what's up? Like, the reason the red flag. Like, because she was scared. Her daughter was scared. Scared to get the car. Well, that's your fault, lady. I should have seen her from my twin. I've been to, uh, See, we've been through that. He was the airline flight into UT. That category. Um, in Sevierville, at, at that, the, for, like, that park cab, right there by Subway and Pilot. We were at the light. It was red. We were sitting there. We got the green light to go through. Carrie went to the seat to go through. And this lady in expedition. Uh, with, supposed to be wearing glasses because she's colored blind. Came flying through, never stepped on her brake, touched him or nothing, and T-boned us. Right where he was sitting. 
and it broke. It says how hard she hit us. My radio, which was factory radio, was popped out. Our car chargers were broken in half. The steering wheel was bent over where Carrie was holding on to it. The gas tank, where my gas tank was, was a hole like this big. Where he was sitting, thank God he just unbuckled something, made him unbuckle. Dog. Yeah, our puppy jumped out of his life and he asked to grab him, and he grabbed him as he unbuckled. It sent him over. Their seat bent down the bottom, where it's removable because it was a van, was bent completely and laying on the floor. That broke every single window on the passenger's on the driver's side, all the way down and in behind. Um, it jammed the doors on the other side. It put Carrie's seat leaning against mine. I had to have surgery like four months after because he moved my jaw three inches over and my nose. So I had to have surgery to fix everything. He was air life flighted to UT. I've never been to UT at this point. I've only been in Severeville. I've never been out of Severeville at that point. They air life flighted him and Amanda to UT because Amanda couldn't breathe. She had asthma at the time. We didn't know what it was. Well, I knew she had asthma, but I didn't know if she had any injuries. He was bleeding from his head. He was having all kinds of problems. They took Kiri and Kayla to Fort Sanders in Sevier County. The puppy, the dog, the cop took the dog to the vet. I was like, no, I'm not going. I'm fine. I'm I, I, nothing. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. My mom parked up at the, where the shoe store is now and ran down, because I called her because she lived here at that time, ran down into the intersection. The cops were drawing their gun on her because she wouldn't shut her vehicle off and get out of the car. And if it wasn't the guy behind us who took his shirt off and Rhett was holding Billy's head, he wrote like a three-page report, a witness report. Then we were at the light for point four or five seconds before we got the arrow to proceed. And I mean, this is how he was talking through the whole thing. And she did not put on her brake, nothing. She swimmed into them. I mean, she, so we had an opening shot case. And I took off with my mom to the hospital trying to figure out where Fort Sanders is. He had a punctured lung, a collapsed lung. He had a laceration to the head. He was put in um, ICU. Amanda was letting go because she just was having an asthma attack. But we were pulling glass out of her leg and her arm. Here we go, gentlemen. Kayla, they cut her clothes off and she had bruises all up and down her side because of that arm rest she went into because when Joey got thrown, she got thrown and she bruised. She, I, mean, her, I mean, it was right her, down her side, but she was okay. Carrie said, I'm, I'm out of here. He had some broken ribs and stuff and he's like, I'm out of here. I gotta get to UT, which a couple of our friends at the time, Freddie Arnold and Natasha Arnold, were at, um, lived up just up from the hill and somebody told them that we were in bad cards and they came down. They went to Fort Sanders and got Carrie and Kayla, dropped Kayla off at another friend of ours house and they drove up to the hospital. 